Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There is a uh, woman on TikTok, and she is going viral. Uh Uh-oh. What does she do now? Um, She says that uh, she sits on the toilet backwards and uses the toilet that way. And so she's going viral because people are like, you do what? And she's like, yeah, I sit on the toilet backwards, and here's why. This will change your life forever. You have been pooping wrong. What I want you to do is poop backwards, get all of your favorite snacks, get your favorite show, and that's how you poop. It's the best of all times. And you just sit there pooping and you're jamming out. Okay. Wait, so that's the wrong way? Wow. This whole time I've been sitting that way. (laughs) (laughs) She said Uh, snacks. I know. I know the snacks. Leave those out of the bathroom, please. Yeah, just wait. I'm looking. She's got a bag of chips. It depends on what we... (laughs) And she's watching. She's C-H-I-P-S. watching. Sh- yes, yeah, yeah. She's she's watching a show. Uh, she's having a great time. I mean, I understand watching the show or playing with your phone. Sure, like anyone can do that. But but I uh, gotta cross the line when it comes to snacks. But the tank, the tank is a perfect place to put your iPad, so you got a bigger yeah, screen, exactly. a nice table. It's a perfect yeah. dinner table. Yeah, it's a perfect dinner table. We're actually wow. in the process of potty training my little two-year-old brother, and his daycare told us to put him backwards and just give him like a dry erase pen to color on the toilet. So start training him at a young age to poop that way. Yeah, so he poops backwards, <laughs> so he gets distracted by coloring on it because he doesn't like to stay on. He likes to run around and you know get off the toilet and. So you sit on the toilet like as if it's like you know how some people flip their chair around and they yeah. sit that. Yeah. I've never been a fan of that. Like it's not comfortable. I don't think I'm limber enough. I always feel like I'm going to pull something. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? How did you hurt yourself, Steve? Well, sitting on the toilet wrong. Yeah, so, well, or right. I mean, oh, it depends yeah. on how you look at it. I guess. Well, for a minute there, I thought she was going to going to give us a sort of the squatty potty reason because somehow sitting no. the other way puts you in the right position to do it the right way. But no, it's just to snack up. And uh, do you guys remember on South Park because uh, yes. Butters was, was that's Butters. what Butters did. Butters was, and he was very shocked to learn that no one else sat on the toilet backwards like him. Wait a minute. You're supposed to poop in a toilet facing out, but I thought you sit on the toilet this way. So you have that nice little shelf for your comic book and your chocolate milk? <laughs> Not chocolate milk, Butters. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, the chocolate out. Okay, so, so life is imitating art with this girl. There's no doubt about it. Because Butters to. was already about snacking and, 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 and being entertained, sitting the other way on the toilet. Yeah, so it's like South Park did this backwards toilet thing like 10 years ago. Maybe she saw it when she was a kid, and then she was like, oh, epiphany. And then it's like, why are people still not doing this? All right, maybe we don't agree on how we should sit on the toilet. But can we all agree that Butters is like one of the most underrated South Park characters ever. Yes. He's probably oh, yeah. my favorite. Yeah, right. Anytime oh, yeah. he talks, it makes my day. <laughs> oh yeah, butters. Uh, butters joins a joins a, a, a very odd group in the uh, la- in the latest episode of South Park. By Uh-oh. the way, oh, if I've you guys haven't seen the pandemic no. episode, it, th- yeah. really, 
Yeah, Butters, you know, Butters is again, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't get a lot of time, but boy, he really steals the scene whenever he's in, he's in South Park. He makes the best of his time, that animated He, he really, character. really does, <laughs> yeah. And I have to say, if you haven't seen it, they did it again. Man, it's just, uh, the guys at South Park know how to put together a fun episode about a really serious subject every time it's whatever's going on in the news. It was a good episode. That's why whenever you wonder how long can South Park go, it's like, so long as there's crazy stuff going on in the world, they can continue to go on, which means they can go on forever. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, they, they, they hit the pandemic perfectly. They did it again. Oh, man, did they do it again. This oh. one was about the vaccine, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to watch it on the crapper today. <laughs> and now I know the proper way to watch it. As you should. Just leave yeah. the chips out, please. Yeah. No? <laughs> what about Just sandwiches? Okay, chocolate sandwiches. milk. Just, you know, for, for, for butters, you get your chocolate milk. A chocolate milk and a sandwich. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Ah, Maybe a wow. cookie. Uh, <laughs> all right. If you, yeah, See, now you're going down to that girl's neighborhood. Now, you know, you're uh, a TikTok star. Fudge brownie? Okay. Oh, wow. Are you sure you want to use that terminology? Oh, dear. No, I actually would like to take that one back. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> we uh, we have an assistant principal that was arrested for helping her daughter hack into a school computer, but it, it wasn't to improve her grades. Why did she do this? Oh, Steve's going to tell you. He's got the Migs report for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Beacon Plumbing, Heating, and Mechanical. And happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Luck of the Irish with you. And you're all wearing the green? <laughs> really? Dude, cut me some slack. I know. I see you have green on. Danny yeah. has green on. Come on, man. Vicky. Oh, Vicky has green yeah, on. Vicky does have oh, green on. Oh, good job, Vicky. Is Vic. it just you and me? Yeah, it's you and me, buddy. Joe, any green? No green. I didn't realize it was St. Patrick's Day. My wife and I were laughing because she sends me a bitmoji. She describes a random one every morning when she says good morning. And she sent me like the happy St. Patrick's Day one. And both of us were like, oh, crap, today's St. Patrick's Day. It was because of bitmoji that I was able to realize that. <laughs> good job, buddy. Yeah. So, hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. And when you think of St. Patrick's Day, guys, what kind of food do you think of? Oh, it's going to be Irish food, right? I mean, you would think. Some even say it's corned beef and cabbage day today because Hell of that yeah. reason. Yeah. So what food would you, Vicky? Shamrock shake. Shamrock shake. Good. How about you, Danny? Irish beef stew. Irish beef stew. I'm uh, making it with Guinness tonight. BJ, are you sticking with corned beef or are you thinking what? What are you thinking? Oh, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> your Lucky Charm cookie over at Crumble. Of uh, course. What about you, Rev? Oh, I'm doing the corned beef and cabbage tonight. How about that? Well, you know what? Wow. When I think of St. Patrick's Day, I think of donuts. Ooh, okay. okay. Some sort of greenish, a greenish donut? I only say that because Krispy Kreme giving out free donuts if you show up nice. wearing green. Green donuts, BJ. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure they're just, oh, I, I want them now. Yes. Mm, they're so good. I would eat one of those in a heartbeat. There you oh, go. Oh, I would eat yours something. in a heartbeat, too. Donut, right? Yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. of course. All right. Yeah. Oh, man, you got to love Florida. Sometimes it's stupid stuff that happens out of there. And this one involves a sweet mother-daughter combo. What was it, just yesterday or the day before we talked about the mom who did all those deep fake pictures of her daughter's cheerleading teammates slash rivals to get them in trouble, even though they didn't do anything wrong, but she like photoshopped them doing wrong things. And oh, you're like, yeah. That's a weird mother-daughter issue. Mom of the year right there. Well, how about this one? Laura is her name. She's an assistant principal at an elementary school, and her and her teen daughter are in trouble, and Laura got arrested for this, for hacking into the school district's computer system. Now you're like, okay, what, the daughter has bad grades? Yeah, that's that's what I would think. Nope. What do you think? If if there was anything else it could be, what do you think it could be? Hack into the computer system? Not for grades. Oh, not for grades. Wow, yeah, I'm at a loss for this one. Expel the bitch they hate. Expel the bitch they hate. Wow. Okay, wow. We know how she thinks. Graduate early. Graduate early. Yeah, Yeah, like put her up a, a couple of years. Rev? Oh, man, probably getting personal information on the people so they can send them uh, magazine subscriptions. <laughs> what? Oh, bing, bing, bing. He's, he's right. This dot. No, I'm kidding. None of okay. you are right. Okay. 
they hacked the uh, computer system to rig the vote and crown her daughter homecoming queen. Oh, oh congratulations. Oh. This is like Mean Girls type of a storyline right here. I, You know what? I did that. Of course, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, the daughter used her mom's access to get into the school district stuff and successfully cast votes from other students' accounts to win the election. In fact, here's a news station, a news reporter a- explaining the whole story. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement arrested 50-year-old Laura Carroll. She is an assistant principal at Bellevue Elementary School. They're accused of accessing student focus accounts after hundreds of votes for Tate High School's homecoming court were flagged as fraudulent. Investigators say 117 votes came from the same IP address. (laughs) Carroll was booked and released today. Her daughter was taken to the juvenile detention center. What a great mother-daughter bonding experience. Wow. Both of them yeah. getting arrested. Yeah, I was kind of hoping the daughter didn't know anything about this, like no. the previous story. Uh, but it turns <laughs> out she's obviously known. And it was the mom, the mom was a pr- an assistant principal? Yes, at an elementary school. Oh, so she's not okay. the assistant uh, principal at her school, but they have Oh, access. that makes it better. Yeah, yeah that may, yeah. You know, you, nothing like an assistant principal shaping our young minds, acting in a way to show them what their future will look like, and that is hack and cheat. Well, you know that, that the computer access, they could get grades, medical information, Information, personal information, and more. Yeah. But what they use it for? Homecoming queen. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Well, that's the important thing. I mean, I don't care about social security numbers or anything, Steve. I, I, I want to make my kid a homecoming queen. That's very, very true. So, yeah, Lauren, the daughter. In a little bit of trouble. I don't know if they, if you believe in, like, signs and things like being like, okay, well, maybe that's like an omen or a good or a bad omen, and maybe we should not do this or do do this. But, man, you got to wonder, when you're going to get uh, married in Vegas and the limo, the party limo that you're going to the wedding in, catches on fire that maybe that's a sign oh yeah rev you got married in vegas i absolutely did but there were no fires no fires okay good yeah 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 well here's the bride's parents uh elsa and felix talking about what happened as soon as the air conditions kicked in they popped pop 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 and it started bailing smoke it was engulfed in smoke it was a matter of minutes where you saw flames inside the cab and then the windows blew it was traumatic i was crying the whole time over at the wedding do you look at your daughter and go, are you sure you want to marry this guy? This might be a sign. Yeah, right? yeah man. I mean, I've never heard of a, of, of, of like a car blowing up while you're in it. Like, for, you know, just for no reason. That's weird. I always get that fear, though, when you see a car on the on the, on the freeway on the, like, the side and it, like, they're just, the car's on fire or it's smoking. You're like, man, I do not want to experience that. So that's, that's, that's basically what happened. Yeah. Damn. You know who's uh, also on fire? Chicago exactly. Bears fans not very happy right now. I don't know if you heard, but Russell Wilson is not going to be a Chicago Bear. This well, what happened? I, what? The, what? That's right. It looks more and more likely that he's going to stay put. Uh, the Chicago Bears have made a, a, a quarterback acquisition. They signed a one-year, $10 million deal with not Russell Wilson. Andy uh, Dalton. Andy Dalton. Yeah, well, you know, okay. Dak's coming back. They don't need him with the Cowboys. Throw some, of course, dude, Bears fans are just like, I'm done being a Bears fan. Although, there's, not a, there's not a lot of choice out there, which does make Russell so valuable, really, when you think about it. They, look, what, look at the other people who thought they were getting Russell, who they have to settle for. And Andy Dalton's not terrible. I think if there was never a, a Russell Wilson uh, a tease, that maybe people would be okay with it. It's like, okay, he's not the worst, he's not the best, but he's better than what we have. Yeah. I don't know if that's how you want to introduce a player to your team. He's, he's not better the than worst. what we have. He's, he's not the than, best. He's better than what we have. So we're, better. Yeah. So Trubisky, is he done? Is it uh, finally over with um, him? Is he? Maybe he can become a Seahawk. Back okay, back. perfect. I thought it would have been funny if the Seahawks just trolled all the Bears fans and they traded uh, Luke Wilson to uh, the uh, Chicago oh, Bears. And then oh, the oh. headlines could be out there saying, Wilson to the Bears. Oh, that would have been a troll. But then we'd lose our buddy Luke. I don't think I don't know if Luke is coming back or not. But I'm, Oh, no, I'm, not again. I really? Hope, yeah. I know you like... I don't know if he was joking or not, but he posted some pictures of him rocking the, the rugby team, the Seawolves gear. And some oh. people were like, is he going into the world of uh, professional rugby? Oh, dude. That'd dude, isn't it weird to think? I mean, I still think of him as a very, very young kid. I know, and he still is young, but right. like like he might be considering the end of his football career. It's like, I think, eight or nine years in the league. Which is just, I mean, that that's that's I mean that's better than most. Yeah. How many did it say? Uh-huh. No. Okay. Well, anyway. I feel like you're right, Steve. I feel like it's been around that much time. 
So, of course, that means uh, it, it looks like Russell's going to be back with the team. But what else is going on with the team? Still no big signings of an offensive lineman. There's some that have been picked up, and lots of people are getting more and more nervous. Although there is one that's kind of interesting. The Raiders, they released their Pro Bowl center, Rodney Hudson. I'm not sure if he has or hasn't yet. Watch, he's already been picked up by someone. But that'd be a pretty good pickup. A lot of people are scratching their heads with that one. They're like, what the hell is the Raiders doing getting rid of that guy? Probably a money thing. But uh, the Seahawks did do, did do some stuff yesterday. They re-signed uh, Puna Ford, which is a good thing because he's pretty damn good player two-year deal worth about 14 million dollars we have to say goodbye to Shaquille Griffin he yeah. is now I guess the Seahawks did try to keep him but they just didn't they couldn't back up the truck like uh the Jaguars did who I'll yeah. give him a three-year deal worth up to 44.5 million dollars you're gonna see, you're gonna see that on defense if if this team is gonna support Russell you're just gonna see them not be able to back up the truck defensively but that's why it's nice that Puna got uh, be signed because yeah. that was a good that was a, a good call by the Seahawks. Uh, but they did uh, pick up a cornerback by the name of Akello Witherspoon, a former 49er. Uh, he just got picked up by the Seahawks for a one year deal, I think, for like four million. So uh, yeah. we'll see if he he can do anything with the team. Uh, Hopefully, just his knowledge of the 49ers. You know, you love it when they sign divisional divisional rivals to the team. Just you, you think you get them for the information more so even for how much they can play. And I'm sure more stuff's going to happen today. Lots of stuff already going on in the world of uh, the NFL, and hopefully the Seahawks figure out their offensive line now that uh, he's, uh, Russell, Russell Wilson's not going to be a Chicago Bear. Yeah, well, okay, so he's not a Bear, he's not a Cowboy, he's not a Saint. What was the, it was the, oh, the Raiders. The Raiders, and I don't know, they don't seem like they're making the best decisions, unless they got rid of that offensive lineman so they can afford Russell, but then he's uh, going to a team with no offensive line. Yeah, you know, he'll feel like he's at home. And you know, OJ said he's going to go to an AF, uh, you know, an American Conference team. Hey, that's what he believes, yeah. the only place he should go. He's staying here, BJ. All right, I have no problem with that. All right. All right, weather. Hopefully we're done with now all those conversations. Uh, 57 degrees and cloudy, and that's the Meeks Report, and that's what's up. Got this guy. His name is Sam, and he may have saved your Zoom life because there are people who just can't stand Zoom. And a lot of folks, of course, ever since the pandemic started, have had to do all these Zoom meetings. And Sam has come up with an app that can help you get out of those Zoom meetings, and it's called Zoom Escaper. <laughs> Steve, where were you for this? See, this someone is developing apps. They're coming up with these bright ideas. I, I think this would have been something you would have come up with. It is a pretty genius idea, especially with, if this continues. Where I, I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to keep the Zoom meetings going on, even when things, quote-unquote, come back to normal, because I think a lot of people are still going to work from home. Oh, I, I love the idea of that. I had another Zoom meeting yesterday, and I thought it was fantastic. It was like, you know what? I used to have to go to lunch and have these kind of meetings, but to be able to do it from my house, you know, just meet somebody like that, and it's like I don't have to drive in traffic to get anywhere for lunch, I'm thinking... I'm with you, Steve. I think I, I, I want to do Zoom meetings anytime anybody wants to meet with me. You know what? Honestly, the best thing I did is get it on my laptop because I used to just do all my Zoom meetings on my phone. And it was it, it, it's way more annoying because you can't do the gallery. You can only have a couple. Yes. You know, once I realized, oh, if I do it on my laptop, I could see everybody on one screen. It's a lot more tolerable. Yeah, that is a game changer. You're absolutely right. The, yeah, doing it on uh, even on an iPad, which was a little better than a phone, you still didn't get the whole gallery. It only took me a year to figure this out. <laughs> well, you know what? Hey, buddy. You know what? You were working on, you've got your other apps, Boober and all this. You can't be expected to know everything. Hey, I got a kid, man. I don't have all this time to figure things out. That's yeah, the right. other thing, too. You'll forget about it. You're never going to have time for, to figure out anything. That kid's going to go. If it's not a kid-related dad, you're not doing it. So what does this app do? So what it does is it plays audio effects that could give you an excuse to leave a Zoom meeting that you have no interest in. And here's Sam demonstrating how this works. But if I go to Zoom Escaper, I can add echo to my voice. voice. So I, can make, so I can make, you know, you know myself, myself, myself. Echo, 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 feedback, 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 feedback delay. Uh, and, you know, just do this until uh, no one is uh, willing to be in a Zoom call with you anymore. Back in my festival days, that's how I sat it inside of my head some nights. Yeah, right? <laughs> it, it, I mean, you know, look, I've been guilty of this. This happens every call. There's always somebody that doesn't figure it out, and then you get that echo effect. So eventually, if you can't stop it, you got to go, look, guys, I guess I'm, I'm, all right, well, we'll have to catch you later. Just get out of here, because right. that would happen if you could, couldn't fix it. Uh, there's also other things you could do, and Steve, uh, this is a perfect one for you. That's a good Zoom escaper. <laughs> but I don't need the app for that. I have a child that could actually do that for me. And yeah, it, see it, that? So you, you just have to have her do it on cry on demand. And it's going to be really weird if you they know you don't have a baby. That's even better. 
Yeah. Like, guys, there's a baby in my house, and I don't even know whose it is. I got to go. I got to go. There'll be a lot of drama. Oh, like, please. did anybody know Steve even was, like, involved with anybody? Now he's got a kid. He's a single parent. When did this happen? Uh, Steve, of course, this is another one that would work for you. Yeah, again, I don't need this. I got that at home. Also, Dude. did Lulu get a lot bigger? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Lulu's boys dropped, yeah. apparently. <laughs> All right, well, this last option. Have boys. Yeah, wait, what? This last option you don't have at home, Steve. It's a weeping man that needs your attention. <laughs> Imagine this is a call. <laughs> hey, guys, I got to go. Uh, Danny just realized he's out of guy liner. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was brought into that one. Yes, yeah, so I do have this one, BJ. I got Lulu, I got Tatum, and I got Danny. I don't need That's this stupid point. app. For You're a low price right. of five dollars, I will cry on your Zoom meeting. I totally <laughs> forgot about Danny and the guy liner issue. Oh. Sorry, guys. Danny just found yeah. out the cost of the new MXPX box set. He's oh. very sad about it. Oh. Yeah. So now you got to, you know, yeah, you got to now you got to figure out who's more expensive, Danny or the or the, the Zoom Escape app. And I already figured out a way to get uh, Tatum to cry on command. We've learned. Oh, really? Uh, she has tantrums about the most ridiculous things. Yesterday, she had a tantrum because we went outside, and when we came back in, my wife said she, she put on her socks. She said put them on her own feet. And for some reason, that upset Tatum, and she oh. just started crying. Oh. Like, what? what? She's mad at you for putting on a sock. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See that? Uh, yep. There you go. Get used to it, my friend. Vicky's like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, Steve. So if well, I don't like the Zoom meeting, I'm like, babe, put on a sock. Yeah, put on a sock <laughs> quick. Hurry up. Or take MXPX's box set away from Danny. Oh, come on. Don't bring Aww. it. <laughs> so sad. I would, that would be so awkward if all of a sudden you had a weeping man in the background. It is very, I mean, yeah. And I think if I'm in a meeting and I hear that, I'm like, what is going on in that house? Yeah, get out of here. Sorry, my man's crying. Gotta go. Yeah, gotta <laughs> run. need to call the cops or a yeah. therapist? <laughs> no, it's just my side hustle, you know. Dominatrix on the side. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow. He'll be oh, fine. Oh, dear. His credit card uh, was declined for Vicky's OnlyFans page. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely leaving that Zoom meeting. I mean, I'm the one leaving. You know, either she doesn't leave, I'm leaving. That's and she's the only one on the Zoom meeting. Uh, yesterday, Steve, uh, he got this one right, but unfortunately, you only get three guesses. In the tail, Jack and the Beanstalk. What did Jack trade for Magic Beans? Rocks. No. Uh, uh <laughs> sexual favors. No. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, he traded uh, a sheep. No. A cacao. Yeah. Damn it. Too late. The fast Too late. Oh, man. Stupid Poor cow. Stupid cow. Stupid cow. Boy, what a different fairy tale that would have been if it was for sexual favors. That would have been a whole different story. Uh, you want a shot at Pity Steve? You got it. 206 421 Rock. We're playing Beat Meeks at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another question from a listener. I'm getting my wages garnished. Can bankruptcy help with that? Absolutely. Uh, one of the big reasons people file bankruptcy is because they have a judgment or a lawsuit against them or their wages are getting garnished uh, and so they can't pay their bill, other regular ongoing bills. People sometimes think that you can't file bankruptcy once they have a judgment against them or once a garnishment start, has started, and that's not true. Filing bankruptcy will immediately stop any garnishment that you have going except for child support uh, and stop your creditors from continuing on with garnishments of your bank account, your wages, um, and in most cases will discharge that liability uh, through the bankruptcy process. And we can file a bankruptcy case uh, for you usually the day you come in. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening.